What's up, everyone? Welcome to a new toy pickups. Wait, camera's right there. I'm looking over there. <laughs> My phone's upside down. Anyways, um, I have a lot of toys here. Like, I'm in a pile of toys, and you can see my toy background. But anyways, this is going to be a lot of stuff. I'm looking the wrong way again. A lot of stuff, but um, don't worry. I didn't buy all this in, like, one day or anything. This is, like, most of the year. Um, I've been saving up a pile of toys for a while, waiting for a chance to record. And here it is. We have uh, Transformers, Power Rangers, Marvel, uh, Ninja Turtles, NECA. Like, if you think of it, it's here. Um, I'll start with Transformers, I guess, since it's right here. Uh, the first thing here is the Quintesson Pit of Judgment. This was a Hasbro Pulse exclusive, and it's supposed to replicate the... Uh, the, like, jury or whatever from G1, I think. But it is for the new Netflix series. So, that's cool. Then we have Alpha Strike Counterforce. Cool, cool. We have Alita 1. I've been waiting to get her for a while because she's uh, one of the main characters in the show. Still trying to get Bumblebee. Her and Bumblebee are like hard to get, and I keep looking over here. Uh, barricade. Every time I think of Barricade, I think of the movie. The the uh, Michael Bay movie when he's like a cop car and he's all sleek and stuff, but yeah. Uh, just like that Quintesson Pit of Judgment, this is uh, one of the judges. Is he the same? Same judge? Nope. Then we have some little mini bots here. We have Double Crosser, Sound Barrier, and Slither Fang. Then we have the next spoiler box. Uh, you can see the other spoiler box behind me. Yeah. Right. Ooh, right. Right there. Anyways. That spoiler box is Ultra Magnus, and this one is Nemesis Prime, which Nemesis Prime is really cool, and I cannot stop looking to the left. I'm so used to my phone being this way. Anyways, I'm sorry. Uh, then we have Run Amuck. I think the next series just came out, Earthrise, and I need to watch it because I didn't even know it was out yet. Um... Hasbro Pulse does this. They put them in these crappy little boxes. Like, I like to keep things sealed, but I also want to actually see the figure. So I typically unseal them, and then you can just see them like this. This guy comes with a bunch of accessories for a bunch of other bots, which is really cool. Then we got... There we go... Grease Pit. That first one is a uh, Centurion Drone. Then we've got Megatron. This one is one of my favorites because I had the original like 80s or 90s figure of this when I was little. I don't have it anymore, sadly, but but yeah. So, did any of you guys have that guy? That version of Megatron. I want to say it's like the G2 Megatron. Then we've got the uh, Paradrone Medics. Or Ratchet and a repaint of RC. But what's her name? I don't know what this girl's name is. But we are not done yet, folks. We have Decepticon Exhaust. This is a cool little face mask. We got Hubcap, which is a Bumblebee repaint. I really wish I could find actual Bumblebee. See how tiny he is? Then we have Black Rorichi. Then we have another Bumblebee repaint, Bug Bite. As you can see, he's tiny. And 
I don't think he's a Decepticon either. Maybe a Predacon? Or a... I don't know. We have Decepticon Sandstorm. Wait a second. Is this the same... Sandstorm. Good old classic Conehead. Then we have Hothouse. See, you can see why I had to open these boxes, because you can't see crap in these boxes. Then we have a uh, Cordon and Autobot spin out. If I can close it. Um, next up, I don't know if you guys watch Transformers Prime, but it is my second favorite Transformers series of all time. And it is the 10th anniversary, so they did some 10th anniversary figures that are super nice. This is a Breakdown and Viacom. These are super nice quality. And then we also have Hades Megatron. I don't know what Hades means. I mean, I know what Hades means, but I don't know what it means to be Hades Megatron. One of my favorite Megatrons, though. It's all chromed out, looking all slick. <laughs> okay. And I haven't been buying a lot of Cyberverse figures, which, if you guys don't know, Cyberverse is the more kids version of Transformers. There's usually two series out at a time. And Cyberverse comes on, like, regular TV, and then the War for Cybertron trilogy comes on Netflix, and it's more adulty. But I did get a few Cyberverse figs. We have Rack and Ruin. Waited for a mega sale on, I guess, them. I almost said him, but it's two guys, apparently. Then I'm trying to get this uh, this whole set of Build-A-Figures, but there's eight of them, which is crazy. So we have uh, Grimlock here. He comes with one of the pieces of Clobber. I think of Clobber. Is that his name? Uh, no. Macadam. Anyways. Grimlock. Then we have RC. She also comes with a piece and this is one of the harder ones to find, and this really pissed me off. It came destroyed. Like, look, there's like, holes in it. It's all crunched. Um, it's Thunder Howl, though. That's what he looks like. And uh, I decided to open him up, and, like, literally, like, his little wolf head right here is, like, cracked and stuff. So I super glued it. It looks kind of like battle damage now, so I just have him on display on a shelf in there, but this is just the box. And then... Masterpiece Tigatron. Masterpieces are so nice. And I have all the Beast Wars ones so far. So Tigatron's my favorite uh, Maximal, so it was cool to get that. I also got a couple of the Masterpiece pins. They usually, like if you pre-order them, they'll come with a pin. And this one's for Black Arachnia. And this other one is for... Tigatron. I'm missing a few of the pins, but they're kind of hard to come by if you don't get them right away. Okay, last three Transformers, in case you're tired of Transformers. Um, so, as many of you know, or maybe not know, Walmart does a reissue on the G1 figures, and I've gotten them all so far, and another one came out, Sound Blaster. It's basically just a reissue of like 80s figures, which the back artwork is amazing. And something else uh, Hasbro started doing is taking like 80s vehicles from like movies and stuff and making Transformers out of them. Like we got Ecto-1 from Ghostbusters and we have a uh, Gigawatt. He's obviously the uh, DeLorean from Back to the Future. And somehow I bent mine up. Urgh. And then the next one is Maverick from Top Gun. So, yeah, those are pretty cool. Okay, that is all of the Transformers. What would you guys like to see next? I can knock out some little ones here. Um, I also love, like, 80s movies. And so uh, Ghostbusters is a big 80s movie. So I grabbed a couple more of the Ghostbusters figures. I think I'm missing two of this line now. Along with that, though, Hasbro Pulse put out a, like, Hasbro Pulse Con exclusive or whatever. 
and it looks like this and it's Tully from Ghostbusters aka Rick Moranis and he's running from one of the hounds or whatever see it a little better like right here probably yeah really cool glad I got a hold of one of those I want the Ecto-1, but it's sold out. Um, and then some random figs I got here. Around Halloween time, I grabbed a Billy Butcherson pop figure. I'm obsessed with Hocus Pocus and Halloween, so had to. Uh, keeping on with the 80s stuff, we have a Masters of the Universe Battle Cat. I didn't get the uh, Super 7 Battle Cat, so I just grabbed one from Walmart. It's going to look pretty cool on the shelf with the other He-Man stuff. Um... For Christmas, I got these. <laughs> Look, that is a thumbnail. But anyways, uh, we have Buddy the Elf and uh, Clark Griswold. I'm obsessed with Christmas and Halloween, by the way. Um, so something else NECA has been doing is... Like, you know how in the 90s there were all these, like, little spin-off cartoons, like, spin-offs of movies? Well, Back to the Future had one. And so, we have the figures from the 90s show. Do you guys remember these? Very cool. And then NECA put out actual Back to the Future figures. We have, uh, what's his name again? Biff. The douchebag that turns into like a Donald Trump type character. And then we have this. Marty. Let's get these out of the way. Um, so I guess I'll do Power Rangers. They're right here. Uh, Power Rangers Lightning Collection is something else I collect. I don't I don't really go for the like the more children's toys when it comes to Power Rangers. Um, but Lightning Collection, here we go. We have Zeo, uh, Gold Ranger, which I already had him like in the two pack, the San Diego Comic Con exclusive two pack. But it came with a Jason head. This one comes with the other dude's head. We have uh, In Space Yellow Ranger. We have. Mighty Morphin Metallic Pink Ranger with a uh, cat's head instead of Kimberly. Then we have Billy the Blue Ranger. Then we have a regular Tommy Green Ranger. The other one is the Fighting Spirit. It's got the silver on the helmet. Then we have a regular Black Ranger instead of the shield, Gold Shield Black Ranger. Dragon Shield, whatever. Z Putty. We have Dino Thunder Red Ranger. We have Red Zeo Ranger. Another Tommy. What do you know? We have. Oh, this is going to be interesting. Okay, so we have a Dino Thunder White Ranger, which, an interesting story about this. I might have already said this before, but. This is our Walgreens exclusives, and the helmet came out terrible. Everyone's complaining about the helmet. If you can see, see how there's no paint? It's supposed to look like that. There's like black around the visor, and there's not. So they redid the heads and sent them out to everybody that requested, and I got the new head right there. So now I have a crap head and a good head. <laughs> now we have wingless Goldar. It's not what he's called, but that's basically... In the early seasons of Power Rangers, he didn't have his wings yet, and uh, they did a figure for that. It's got new wings, and no wings, and new, like, effects. Then we have Mighty Morphin Ranger Slayer. She is from the comic books, which, read those if you have not. They're really good. Uh, Time Force Red Ranger. Got some two-packs here. We have SPD B Squad Blue Ranger and SPD A Squad Blue Ranger. Then we have In Space Red Ranger and Astronomer. 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 
Now we have some villains here. We have Mighty Morphin Pumpkin Wrapper. They did a poor paint job on him, but he's still cool. And then they have Mighty Morphin King Sphinx. He's uh, way out of scale. He's way too big, but that's okay. And then we have, last but not least, we have a, another Hasbro Pulse exclusive. Um, this is Lord Draken Evo 3. Um, he came in a box like this, and then you take it off, and he's sitting there on his throne like a badass. Has his uh, all the broken helmets around his feet, which uh, they actually fit the heads too, which is cool. And it comes with an issue of Shattered Grid on the back. So that's really cool. Okay, that's all the Power Rangers stuff. Now we will get to the Marvel stuff. So. As you guys probably know, uh, Marvel Legends has been a thing for a few years now, and there's a gajillion figures. And I started to go down that path, because I really do love Marvel, but after grabbing like five or six figures, I was like, this is too much, I'm not doing this, so I backed out, I just stopped doing it. Well, um, they started putting out carded uh, figures based on the X-Men animated series and the Spider-Man animated series from the 90s, and I was obsessed with those when I was little. I had ton of the figures, you know, I watch the shows, like, religiously. So I decided I will jump in on these, because they're at least limited. Like, it's not going to go on forever, you know? So, uh, when it comes to X-Men, I got in a little late, so I was missing, I was missing, uh, white suit Storm. You know, she has the white suit with the thing under her arms and stuff. And that thing was selling for, like, 50 bucks by itself, and I was, like, not doing that. So GameStop was having a sale... They were not twenty four dollars. They were on. They were like super cheap, like nine or ten dollars each. So I grabbed them. We got Wolverine, or not Wolverine, <laughs> Cyclops, and Silver Samurai, and Wolverine. And I was kind of like, man, I, these these uh cards came kind of crappy. They're all bent and like there's stickers on them and stuff. And then I looked on Entertainment Earth's website, and they had the whole first wave of the figures, including, including that rare storm. So I grabbed that and I'm just going to open these and put them on display. And as you can see, I just have a whole case here of the, the better looking figures. We have Cyclops. Come on, come on, get back in there. We have Dazzler. We have Silver Samurai. These are all in way better condition. We have Wolverine. Oh gosh. We have Silver Surfer. Like, aren't these cool? Like, freaking old school cards. And we have the ever elusive White Suit Storm, who I did not have to pay $50 for. And then along that line, we have we have Gambit. He was a Target exclusive. We have Rogue, also a Target exclusive. We have Marvel's Beast, which is kind of weird. He's gray, but I did notice he matches the Beast that's like on the Marvel Comics, uh, like, little logo. So maybe that's where that beast came from. Hopefully they put out a blue beast. And then we have the less, less rare Black Suit Storm. So that is all the X-Men I've gotten so far. I think that's all that's out, actually. Um, but they did do Spider-Man as well. So in terms of Spider-Man, we have... It, they just call him Spider-Man here, but he's obviously a different Spider-Man. <laughs> We have one of my favorites, Cyborg Spider-Man. I had the the 90s version of this Spider-Man, and I was so obsessed with it. I played with it all the time. It actually came with a big thing that game, went over his head, though, and gave him like a big extra metal arm and stuff. But do you guys remember that? We have Mysterio. 
I really don't think there's any beating the Spider-Man villains. Maybe Batman. Batman villains are pretty cool, but I love Spider-Man villains. Then we have Jonah Jameson, the douche. Black Cat. Green Goblin. Peter Parker. Just regular old Spider-Man. Daredevil. Which I wish he had his regular red suit too. That'd be sweet. Electro. And last but not least, Gwen Stacy. Okay, so that's all the Marvel figures I have. I know, it's a ton. And now let's move on to Ninja Turtles. So, I'll start out with this. I got this Walmart exclusive uh, Eastman and Laird like comic book collection. This is the uh, turtle van from the comics. And it is full of figures, actually. It's got all these figures in it. Which, that many figures for like 30 or 40 bucks, it's a good deal. Get it back in the box. Get it back in the box. Okay. Okay, now I have some uh, NECA TMNT. These things are really hard to find, and people are scalping them like crazy. But luckily I have a good group of guys. Group of people, you know, we all look out for each other. We have Triceraton Infantryman, Infantryman, and Roadkill Rodney. We have Trag and Graniter. These things are heavy, by the way. We have Xerax and Zork. And we have Krang. Very cool. These are all based off the uh, the 90s cartoon, 80s slash 90s cartoon, I think 80s. But yeah, so that is all the pickups. We are at almost 23 minutes. <sighs> Sorry if you're wasting your time, everyone. Uh, let me know what you got. Let me know if you have any questions about any of this. And uh, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you guys later.